and uh, now we'll learn how the whole process how battery from cell to a finished product uh, happens like you know any factory or in any plant or workshop uh, how assembly of cell happens so the uh, as we have seen uh, cell selection uh, in first session uh, we uh, learned about uh, how to select a cell so uh, the main factor were the voltage the required nominal voltage the size of cell and the capacity uh, contained in it right so while selecting a cell we have to uh, consider the cell uh, rating as per the requirement second would be the cell positive side insulation so uh, we have seen a complete structure of the cell where there is an insulator inside anode and cathode uh, which is uh, which provide insulation and also separates a cell which is also a major factor so uh, third one is a cell assembly in a cell holder so here you can see the picture of cell holder this is the uh, three cell holder but uh, uh, it can become in uh, 20 cell holder 50 cell holder according to our requirement so we have to put hold the cell into the cell holder uh, fourth would be a cell spot welding so uh, after cell, uh, putting a cell into a holder uh, we connect the nickel strip to the each and every cell and we uh, weld it using a spot welding machine we have seen it also in our first session uh, the second stage is welding check so uh, while uh, talking about the battery safety, we have seen each and every cell had a four spot weld on uh, their side because the spot, number of spot weld also important. So we have to check those welding also. Uh, third one is a soft pack assembly. Uh, soft pack assembly is nothing but uh, assembly or the pack is covered into a epoxy sheet with a polymer material, uh, not in like metal before going into a metal casing. So we uh, covered it into epoxy sheet. So it gives you that separation also a cushion. Uh, the next step is a current flow check. So uh, current flow check is nothing but uh, like charging a battery pack and checking whether it is giving a, a accurate current or the required current which battery requires without getting heated or without failing any series. So that is also important while uh, making a battery pack. Uh, next step is insulation check. So we have to check whether there is any uh, short circuit or uh, any mi uh, missing connection while making a battery pack. The next step is discharge test. So charge and discharge test is very important uh, to get a maximum capacity of battery pack. Uh, even if we calculate a theoretically uh, battery for 48 volt 30 AH, but at actual it won't give a 30 AH. Uh, it will give you somewhere around 29 AH, sometime uh, beyond 30 AH also it is possible. So, uh, so to get that actual numbers, we have to completely charge battery pack and discharge battery pack. So uh, then after we'll uh, get the actual rating and also meanwhile the battery pack will also get balanced. So we, uh, the charging and discharging of battery pack is also helps to balance a complete battery pack. The next one is uh, like to generate a serial number. Uh, it is a ideal case for um, production to record all the battery packs, which serial number uh, has what kind of capacity. So in future, when it comes for a maintenance purpose or uh, if there is any failure happens, even if a thermal runway happens, we'll get to know the primary status. So that's why we have to record each and every battery pack in our uh, storage and then a final packing. So uh, the final packing is nothing but a metal casing or aluminum casing or a plastic casing, which uh, contains a battery pack. We put our complete battery pack into the casing and then we install it into the vehicle. So this topic will cover in the next session.